Hey there everybody, Michael here, playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Looks like we have another adventure with Bowser. Well, we're here! Now where's this stupid pasta sanctum? Crystal Star's there! So they say your putridness, and look, it's right behind you! Hmm, I thought we would have a segment with Princess Peach. I guess not. They just skipped straight to Bowser. All right, I'm Bowser! Hey, Toodles! I say, I'd like to mount a large animal horn in my foyer to highlight my social status. Oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns, don't you, you great thing? Well, what? That's disgusting! Get away from me, psycho! You can't have my horns! Well, that was an odd conversation. Luigi fan! Eek! Eek! My mommy! My mommy! Okay, she doesn't have anything interesting to say. What about you, penguin? Oh, hello there, guy! Poshley Heights is nice on a warm afternoon, eh? What's that? You're a great and evil king, are you? Really? Yeah, you know, guy, I think maybe you got a little too much sun, eh? Thank you, Mr. Penguin, eh? What about you, Bob? Wow, you're big, mister! What's your name? Evil King Extraordinaire. Rah, I'm Bowser! Bowser! Evil King Extraordinaire! Yo, yeek! Well, oh, my! Look, my heart trembles! This fountain is so elegant, this is art at its finest! So very observant as usual, my dear Gold Bob. Indeed, this is artist's art. Yes, dear, as one cannot measure its worth by coins. That is what makes art, art. And yet the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill-gotten coins. Yes, they seek to buy it. Yet how can one appraise what the eye cannot perceive? Well, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me, honestly. Okay, well, that's enough for talking to random people. Let's go to Poshley Sanctum. It's locked. It won't budge. Darn it! Oh, hey! Hey! Bowser's temper tantrum broke the lock. Whoa, baby! Awesome! It opened! Talk about lucky! I guess rage really pays! I'm amazed he was able to fit through those doors. He was clearly, I mean, he was clearly larger than those doors. Yes, this is it, Haggy. This is finally it. I finally get a crystal star. I'm finally going to have an effect on the plot of this game. Oh yeah, Bowser's the best. Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute best star-getting guy. If you ignore Mario, because he has eight and... You only have one. You there! I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm a remorseless king of evil. So I'll take what I want, and I want this. Uh oh, Bowser, you say? R remorseless king of. Uh, what was that last bit again? Yes, well, no matter. Mm, yes, yes, I, I, so I deduce. <laughs> Listen well. That crystal star is a veritable red herring. Yes, an imposter. But what? A fake? Yes, I got it from the gift shop. Ha 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 ha. Where's the real one? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi! Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho! Merry Christmas! You've got to be kidding me! You mean Luigi beat me here? Luigi? Seriously? Those Mario Bros are the most annoying brothers of all time! Hmm, how bothersome. Uh, we seem to be kind of useless. Where in the world could Mario and Luigi be? Lord Bowser! 
Oh, hey, random guy. Paragoomba, what's up, buddy? Now reporting, sir uh, and ma'am. Sir and ma'am! Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the thousand-year door. Wait, I thought he had eight crystal stars. Oh, what? The thousand-year door? What in the heck is that? Thousand-year door! It's got an unbelievably legendary treasure! Yarg! Then I'm going there, too, immediately, and I'm gonna ruin Mario! Oh, well, so much for that. Will you now? Uh, Luigi, well done, lad. Way to not fail! Yet. I'm not gonna fail, am I? I'm not gonna fail, yeah, I I'm gonna win. I don't care if Bowser is getting in my way, I'm gonna get that crystal star. Wait, I already got the crystal star. Yeah, I could have sworn Mario had, like, a eight, eight crystal stars. Hmm. Okay, he only has seven. Now we can open the thousand year door. Uh, but... I still don't know where Peach is. Well, let's head back to Rogueport, I guess. Professor Frankly will be able to help us find Princess Peach, right? Okay, I think I have a good Vivian voice. I have a great Vivian voice now. Okay, it's not that great, but hey, it's a voice. It works. Let me see. This elevator goes up, right? Level 2. Yeah, um, I'm excited that I'm here in the x Not Fortress, but I could have sworn that Mario was going to meet with, uh, Tech. Wait a minute, why are the doors locked? I need to take the transporter to get out of here. All the doors are locked? Maybe Mario does have to meet with Tech. Let's look for another way out, okay, Mario? Hmm, and I bet this elevator doesn't work. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have no choice but to meet with tech. All right! Time to have a really awkward conversation. Mario, I love your girlfriend. What? what You love my girlfriend? Seriously, come on, computer. That's not cool. Oh yeah, Peach isn't Mario's girlfriend. Um, whatever, uh, we, we know that, um, she would be Mario's girlfriend if she could actually commit to a relationship. Because, let's face it, Mario's, Mario's a great catch. I mean, he's rich, he's got coins out the wazoo, he's athletic, um, and he's got a mustache. Oh yeah, but Lord Grotus killed Tech, so I guess this isn't the Tech we know. You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess Peach. Does he remember? I am so sorry. Most of my data was erased, and my main power unit was shut down, running on backup power with cached memory, trying to stay operational. Mario, you know that Peach isn't here, right? Come on, she's not here, bro. Please say Peach, please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotus in the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. Last thing I could say before I die. But backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter. Get back to Rogue Four. Teleporter room is on sub level two. I already knew that. Thank you. Princess Peach is in the Palace of Shadow. Please hurry. There is barely enough power left to activate the transporter. Teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. But what'll happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. Well, okay, then he was never a real consciousness to begin with, because he's artificial. 
until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer. Just a machine. <laughs> a machine who loves the princess. A machine. Tell her I love her. Thank you. You taught me how to love. You're as gentle as a dove. It's awkward because you already have a boyfriend and I'm not really a person, but still, I love you. Princess Peach. Well, Mario, we have to save Peach for Tech 2. Wow, Mario is taking this really well. You think he would be sort of freaked out that a uh, random computer uh, apparently is in love with the princess, but uh, Mario's Mario's not having any problem whatsoever. So Tech is dead again. Um, thought he already died, but he died again. Because of him, Peach is going to be saved by Mario. Oh, I've already been here. Um, where's the teleporter room? Is it to the left? Did I skip it already? I must have skipped it already. So yeah, how about that, everybody? Tech died in order to save Princess Peach. Okay, it's more like he died so Mario could save Princess Peach, but it's still a noble gesture, and he did it for love. His love for the princess exceeded all boundaries, Peach. Wow, he's still not dead? Goodbye. That makes three death sequences for, um, Tech. Wow. This guy has a lot of death scenes. Did you hear something just then? Well, if it isn't Mario! Over here, son! Hey, Professor Frankly. You brought the Crystal Star back from the moon, didn't you? What? Talking to my good ear, the Exonaut Fortress on the moon? Princess Peach was there, right? Well, yeah, but we only found her boyfriend. A computer. Her boyfriend is a computer? Wow, she needs to get out more. Hmm, well, I went to the thousand-year door, and I saw a suspicious fellow go inside with Princess Peach. Wait, whoa, how did Grotus manage to get inside the thousand-year door? Yeah, wait a minute, how do you get inside without the crystal stars? I know, but I'm certain I saw it with my own eyes. I've got a bad feeling about this. Princess Peach is in danger! Time is short. We have to go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll meet you there! Don't dawdle! You must come immediately! Well, I suppose this saves us a trip to uh, Professor Frankly's. And uh, a couple of video ago, I mean, a couple of videos ago, I said, hey, does the. P I, um, I'm not sure what I said. I said, Hey everybody, do you want to see me get the hidden character? Pretty much everybody said yes, so I'm gonna get the hidden character. Mario can have seven party members, not just six. The way to get the hidden character is by going to the Trouble Center and accepting this. The elusive badge from an anonymous person. So I guess this means we just have to go to, um, wherever you call it. The bad shop. That's where we meet the person. On top of the bad shop. Or just right outside the bad shop. Hey, Luigi! Hey, Luigi! Wow, did you save the princess? 
All right, Luigi! So you can help me out, right? Because I need to save the real princess. You think Mario would ask his brother to help him out here? I mean, Luigi's got like six party members, right? If Mario's party teamed up with Luigi's party, they would be unstoppable. It's a really long story, and this is crazy, but here goes. Hate Song Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the northernmost sea. Winds whistle down the cliff. Aww. Love led him through. Maybe the L on his hat stands for love instead of Luigi. In inconceivable darkness. No. The Chestnut King? Wait, a giant chestnut? Ooh, toxic goo! Ooh, not good. What did you do? Did you find a giant nutcracker or something? Alright, way to go, Luigi! Happened, Luigi. You won, right? Don't leave me hanging here, bro. Come on. All right, Luigi. All right, and he beat another monster. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened with you and the princess? Weren't you gonna say that you love her? Weren't you gonna kiss her? Yeah, I think you're holding out on me. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's ask this guy. Ah, Bluey. Hey, Bluey. Oh. Well, I mean, I want to find out what happened with Luigi and the princess. Can't I find that out? It would be really nice if I got to find that out. No new badges at the badge shop. They're basically just selling the badges which I sold to them. So, nothing new here. And here's Ms. Mouse. Hi, Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Yeah, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my travel. That's not the voice I have for her. What's my voice? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I killed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair. I went to check the room after you defeated him, but nothing. Hmm, you have to use the wind. I don't know what that means, so look for it, okay, sweetie? Right, so as soon as we find this badge, Ms. Mouse will join our party. So, let's do that right now. Hooktail Castle. So I guess this means we just have to go to Hooktail Castle. And it's the last room of the castle, which means we have a lot of backtracking. Okay. It's not going to be that bad, though. And here's something I haven't shown you yet. Check out here in the upper right, you can kind of see we have a hole in the wall that we can blow up with Bobbery. So what you have to do is grab this pipe here. And make a hole in the wall with Bobbery. Alright, defense badge, nice. I'm trying to equip all four of the defense badges that I have, so every time I get a level up, I just level up on um, badge power. You now my characters have maximum attack power, now they need maximum defense. And after that, I have no idea what I'm going to do with level ups. Uh, I think I'm close towards the end of the game, right? I'm really close to ending the game, so maybe I won't have to worry. 
I probably won't be able to level up that much more, right? How much experience do I have? I just stand still, right? And it will show me. Standing still. Um, it's not showing me. Okay, that was boring. A uh, waste of everybody's time. My apologies. Okay, avoid all those enemies. I think we have to go to like the, the third or fourth room, which is the one with the huge elevator. Yeah, this room. Gotta be this room. Okay, stand here. Use coops. Ah, can't go up there. Okay, guess I'm gonna have to go left and then up again. Let's bring back Yoshi. It looks like we have another challenge where we need coops. Makes sense, this was his dungeon, you know, the dungeon where we first met him, so it makes sense that we have a lot of Coop specific challenges. Oh, I was trying to avoid that battle. Oh well. Coops can't reach that enemy because the enemy is in the air. Oh well. Coins, okay, not really worth the effort. And this is a room where I have to fly all the way across, isn't it? Oh well, okay. I can handle this, I can handle this challenge. Let's just have Koops kill all these enemies at once. Alrighty, fly to the exit, then I just go up again. Yes, this is kind of a long journey, but hey, you know what, we're gonna get a brand new party member. So, you know, it's sort of worth the 10-15 minutes it takes to get all the way through the castle. Oh, uh, let's just use- whoa, what's Supernova? Does massive damage to all enemies? And I just have to tap A? Let's try this out. Tap A. A. Tap A. Tap A. A. Ah. Ooh. Kind of difficult there at the end. Ooh, getting more and more difficult. I'm tapping A at the same rate, but it's not giving me as much. Um. Whatever you call it, it's not going as far. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so Mario has eight star point things, but he only has seven crystal stars. Okay. So that's why I thought Mario had um, eight crystal stars. It's like, well, he has eight units of star power, but apparently he only has seven stars. Hmm. Okay, so somewhere in here I have to use Madame Fleury. Hey, what do you know? Remember the battle with Hooktail, where Hooktail said he did have a, uh, you know, he said something like, I have a very rare badge for you. Turns out he was telling the truth. And what does this badge do? It's just one of those sound effect ones, right? Oh, I guess I can't equip it because it's the property of Ms. Mouse. Oh, I was kind of hoping to not have to fight that battle. Well, I can just A dodge against these enemies. But they're not too difficult. But there is no way I'm going to level up against these enemies. No way at all. I think if I want to level up, I'm going to have to, say, go to the Thousand Year Door. Not the Thousand Year Door, the Pit of a Hundred Trials. And maybe in, like, level 50 or something, all the enemies... I mean, at level 50, the enemies will actually be strong enough for, um... Me to get some experience points off of them. Post a comment on this video if you want to see me tackle the Pit of a Hundred Trials again. Last time I only got to level 50, but now that my characters are a lot stronger, they could probably make it to level 80, 90. Yeah, so just let me know. Yeah, I'm not really opposed to doing another one of those. The only problem is that it's sort of a long, long video. But I can record long, long videos. So if you really want to see a long, long video, if you have no problem with the fact that the video will be like an hour and a half to two hours, then fine. Let's have a long video of me doing nothing but fighting enemies over and over and over again. Avoid the enemy. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, that was a close call. No, no, ah, oh, come on, Mario. Just jump up the stairs. No need for fancy theatrics. And let's see what's inside the bad shop. Mmm. I want to get another one of those uh, appeal badges. Oh well. That face doesn't mean you found the badge. 
Well, this is certainly the badge I was looking for. Oh my, yes. Mm -hmm. Now my sweet promise to hear me without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hid the badge. It was a game of mine. I need to apologize. But I knew you'd find it, my handsome cheese hong. You may have even more badge finding skills than I do. Hmm, I just thought of something. Perhaps I should travel with you from now on. Because, mm-hmm, I'm sure you'll find lots of badges that way, yeah. So, here's your reward. It's a kiss, right? Oh, it's the badge! Alright! Ms. Mouse joined your party. So, her attacks aren't too useful, she just uh, slaps people and she sniffs around for treasure. And she can steal things from enemies. Let me see, um, she can smell some treasure in this area, and basically I can just keep moving around, moving around, and using her to figure out where exactly the treasure is. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, there we go. So she helped me find this piece of hidden treasure. A star piece. Very nice. Thank you very much, Ms. Mouse. And I'm sure she's weak and underleveled, so let's level her up. Right over here. Oh no, I don't have any shine sprites. Oh, I need to find more shine sprites? Okay, never mind. Ms. Mouse is not going to be leveled up. But I will fight a battle or two with her, just so you can see what she's like. Might as well use her a couple of times before I never use her again. You know, just to be polite. Okay, love slap. Repeatedly tilt the control stick to the left. Oh, left and right, left and right. Okay. Go left and right, left and right. Okay. I can handle this. I can do that. Left and right, left and right, left and right. Left and right, left and right, left and right, 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 right. Okay. Nice battle. Uh, let's try out another one of her techniques. What was that? The Kiss Thief or something like that? Yeah, I think she was a Kiss Thief. Let's try that one out. Enemy, right over here. Steal an enemy's badge or item. Doesn't look like this enemy has a badge or an item, but let's do it anyway. Press A to stop the gauge. After it passes, okay. Oh no! What? I thought I had that. Oh, and poor Ms. Mouse is injured. You, let's appeal. Ah, Mario's certainly um, getting some, uh, whatever you call it, HP from Happy Heart. 
Left, right, 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 left, right. You just press A as she's walking back to get a stylish. Very simple stylish command. And I should probably take out Ms. Mouse because I'm not going to use her again. Let's let's bring in Goombella. After all, we are at the Thousand Year Door. We are going to open the Thousand Year Door, which leads to the Palace of Shadow. Let's tattle this enemy, because we have not tattled that enemy before. The Koopa Wizard. Lots of pain. Multiple copies. Okay, doesn't seem too difficult. Pretty easy enemy. Let me see, I'll try one more battle. I just want to get that star power, whatever you call it, the meter, up to maximum. Let's see, let's just kill this enemy. I don't know which one is the real enemy, I think it's random, so you just sort of have to guess and hope you're lucky. Okay, maximum star power. So we take all seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. Hey, Professor Frankly. Yeah, I know him. What kept you, Mario? Sorry, Professor. I, I went and got another party member. Well, it doesn't matter now. I don't think the enemies are here anymore. They must have found another way to get through that door. It's all come down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Hold aloft the last crystal star. Oh, hey, this is looking fancy. So the crystal stars come together to open the thousand year door. Look, the door! Oh, great. The power of the rainbow has opened the door. All right. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's right. The spirit of some sort of demon is behind the door. Ugh. You know, I don't feel like going um, there anymore. The Palace of Shadow. Yeah, it seems kind of scary. But then again, Princess Peach is behind the door. We have to save her and save the world. Come on, Mario. Let's go do it. Let's save the world in the next video. Good thinking, Goombella.